Hey everyone, I thought I'd put together a video about uh, some of the filters and effects I use over the top of EV renders to give it a more organic feel. Um, so let's jump right in. So we have our straight render from EV here, which is already looking quite nice, you know, super clean compared to Cycles. Um, but we're going to add a few little bits and bobs to give it that more organic feel, you know, almost like lens effects. So you have a bit of uh, noise, a bit of distortion, that kind of thing. So let's add the first thing, which sort of focus the, focuses the attention in, which is to add a vignette. So let's go with matte, ellipse mask. Let's grab a RGB curves. Let's pass that through. Actually, we can do that. And the mask into our factor. And let's bring down the highlights as well as the mids a bit. You can see the effect that's happening in that in that little circle in the middle there. So let's bring a color to invert that effect. Let's scale up the width and height considerably. And the final thing would be to add a blur filter. Let's switch to relative here just in case we want to change the resolution of the render. I'm going to go with 30. Okay, we've got that nice vignette. Maybe a bit too strong on the mids, sort of oversaturating it a bit. Okay, that seems pretty good. And then it's also quite nice to add some noise. Uh, this sort of breaks up some of the obvious, um, I guess, jaggies. Uh, but yeah, let's just add it in and see what it looks like. Input texture, uh, type clouds, and the size is really, really, really small. And then we add color mix. And we'll mix this in over the top of Our image, not mix, sorry, we'll use soft light. Okay, we have a lot of grain there. So we can change, we can turn our factor down a bit. Okay, we have some issues with the highlights, which I find is normally due to not clamping the range of the image here. So let's, I think we can do that with a mix node. Uh, let's just plug it into the output clamp. Yay. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so there we've got our noise and to animate our noise as well, we could like add a ludicrous offset. So let's add input uh, value into offset. Actually, there might be a random way of doing this. It probably is with some kind of driver or something. I'll investigate that later. But for the meantime, um, let's go to the beginning. Value of zero. Add a key with I on the keyboard. Let's go to the end. Add a ludicrous value here. And keyframe it in. Uh, it might also be worth just going to graph editor oops oh no I changed the wrong thing um, graph editor and uh, just my cat in the background yeah just selecting all there and just changing that to linear So now we have an ever-changing noise pattern. Uh, this is for animation. Okay, that looks good. Now let's add in a soften. 
And at the end, let's add in a filter sharpen, but very low values. And let's add a little bit of a funky grade in color, RGB curves. We can bring back some of these highlights as well. Tiny bit of blue. And just for fun, let's add one of those really cool dispersion nodes, which I think is distort. Lens distortion, dispersion. Let's go 0 0.02. Cool. before and after. Let's just move in. Before, after. As you can see, it's broken up those highlights really nicely. I might just turn down the, the amount of noise. It seems excessive. Just want it subtle. There we go. Before, after. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to show. If you want to follow any updates I do, I usually post them on Twitter um, at at Louis Dumont, L-O-U-I-S-D-U-M-O-N-T. Thanks for watching.